We have, of course, been reporting this anniversary from Gaza, but Israel suffered loss too. The Israeli army had 67 soldiers killed and six civilians died when Hamas rockets got through Israel's Iron Dome defences. We're joined from Tel Aviv by Israeli Prime Minister, uh, the Israeli Prime Minister spokesman Mark Regev. <clears throat> Mark Regev, can I talk to you about the rebuilding of this uh, 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 terribly besieged enclave? Isn't it a fact that the continuing siege of Gaza is preventing the rebuilding of the damage that you inflicted? I don't accept both parts of your question, John. Uh, the war is not something that Israel wanted last year. It's we did everything to try to avoid the conflict. Uh, Hamas, unfortunately, both initiated the war and prolonged it by rejecting ceasefire proposals that Israel itself accepted. Uh, the Palestinian president, Mahmoud Abbas, gave an interview just three weeks ago to an Egyptian paper, and he clearly pointed the finger at Hamas for provoking the war, for continuing the war, for rejecting the ceasefires. He himself said, that Hamas was callous with Palestinian lives. As to the, as to the blockade of Gaza, uh, if you go to the crossings, you see trucks going in every day with humanitarian support, with construction material. After the end of the conflict, we signed an agreement with the UN and the PA to facilitate the reconstruction of Gaza, and we are a full partner in that effort. Yes, but you know the way it is here, uh, Mark Regev. The situation is that there are slightly damaged, very damaged, and severely damaged houses. They have had supplies come in, but those that have been destroyed, you have refused so far, although there were some talks from you last week, you've refused to allow any materials in for the complete rebuilding of houses that were destroyed. I can tell you, I have the numbers in front of me, more than 1,300,000 tons of construction material has gone into Gaza. We're willing to continue to do so and to do more. I think you're wrong if you're saying, well, Israel's the reason why this reconstruction hasn't happened as quickly as it should. In fact, both the UN and the Arab League have pointed the finger in a totally different direction. Well, uh, Mr. Regev, let's be quite clear about this. I've been to this strip many times, and I have to tell you that that siege feels absolute. It is extremely difficult to get cement, for example. There are also these dual lists in which you decide what might have a military application. And I discovered yesterday from a Norwegian diplomat that a plank of wood of a certain thickness is regarded as having a military application. This is nonsense. You are not bringing the material in here that is needed to reconstruct. I strongly disagree. As I said, over 1,300,000 tons and we're willing to do more. It's clear, unfortunately, that Hamas is siphoning off some of this building material for its own purposes. And once again, both the United Nations and the Arab League have pointed the finger in the other direction, uh, not at Israel. They've said publicly that the reason for the holdups in the reconstruction that we want to see, it's in our interest to see Gaza in a better situation. Uh, the reason for the holdups is the internal Palestinian infighting. On the record, the UN Secret the Secretary General of the Arab League and the UN uh, uh, person in charge of the Middle East. Well, now, Prime Minister Netanyahu must be in the autumn of his prime ministerial career. Would it not be worth going out in a blaze of glory, just doing something utterly unique, coming forward and saying, look, I'm fed up with war. I want to talk to these people. I'm going to do it personally. I'm going to offer myself forward as somebody who will negotiate in order to achieve peace. It's about as far from his mind as it could be, correct? He said exactly those words last week when he said he's willing to restart peace talks with the Palestinians without any preconditions whatsoever. He said so publicly. That's our position. The trouble is the people who run Gaza, and you know this, and you, I heard the previous interview, they don't accept that Israel has a right to exist. They don't believe in peace. They unfortunately put violent jihad above and beyond the interests of the people of Gaza who deserve better. I mean, ultimately, the people of Gaza suffer more than anyone else because of this terrible Hamas regime that makes everyone, 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 everyone normal lives, Israelis and Palestinians. And Hamas is simply not allowing that to happen. But Mark Regev, just briefly and finally, could we just check up on these two civilians that you have been talking about as missing in Gaza? Uh, are, are you anywhere near getting hold of them or finding out what's happened to them? We know uh, they're both in Gaza. Uh, we know one of them specifically is in the hands of Hamas, and we're holding Hamas accountable. 
Mark Regev in uh, Jerusalem. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. That's all from Gaza. Now back to Cathy in London.